Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Subnautica. So before we get started, I gotta point out that I did record a couple of episodes, but unfortunately the recording footage got a little bit corrupt, meaning I had to just go back and re-record the entire thing, but I decided while I was re-recording to spice things up a little bit, change them up. So my idea for these two episodes was simply to build a bunch of bases scattered throughout the entire world, like a kind of like a network of different bases. So wherever we go, there should be a base nearby for us to visit, resupply, do any sort of crafting or anything. And at the end of the playthrough, we would build like the final Massive base which is gonna accommodate the massive launch pad which is gonna be used by the rocket in the final game But obviously that's not implemented in the game just yet So we gotta focus on building the little bases scattered throughout the world So I decided for this just to switch to creative mode. I hope you guys are gonna be okay with that Just let me know in the comments if you are okay with me building in creative so you can see more of the process Instead of me constantly trying to go back get resources because I mean I would do that anyway but it just saves me a lot of time and hopefully it's gonna make the viewing experience more enjoyable. And hopefully it's gonna give you ideas for your own playthroughs. If you wanna build any sort of bases, you can just kinda use this as inspiration because obviously I'm not cheating to spawn in items that I don't have access to or you can only obtain in creative. All of this is accessible to everybody if you're playing on creative, survival or freedom mode. One thing I really want to do is build a base close to the Aurora because I mean it's such an iconic landmark one thing that I tried doing was building a base inside it but unfortunately that doesn't work you just can't place objects on the parts of the Aurora so I just couldn't do that so I decided to come to the side and we're gonna try and build something over here so I want this to be kind of like a grand base and I want a lot of it to be sticking above the water surface to make it look pretty cool but I didn't notice there's the stupid glitch wherever you build above water the water actually goes through the base like the water line, which is really fucking annoying. So good devs, if you could like potentially fix that in the future, that would be absolutely fantastic. So I want to have like these three towers that are going to be coming out of the water. If only I could place them a little bit lower down. It doesn't look like it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, cooperate. Are you kidding me? I gotta place you that high. You know what? I might do a little bit of terraforming to compensate for that. Yeah, because I just I just don't like how that looks. So down here, all of these levels are basically gonna be inaccessible. I don't want you to have access to them simply because I just want you to explore the higher areas. This is kind of like the foundation for the base and it still has to look pretty awesome. So that's why I'm focusing a little bit on it to making sure it looks pretty spot on. Should we add a little bit of like decorational pieces down here? Nah, screw it. Let's just keep it like it is. And please tell me I will be able to replicate this on the other side, seeing how there is the wreckage in the way. Oh God, I didn't think about this. Ripperoni and pepperoni. Oh, this is actually working. Nice. This actually doesn't get in the way. That's fantastic. All right, let's add another one of those and let's add the big tower that's gonna come out here. Is that looking good? That's looking symmetrical. Can I potentially place something underneath here? <gasps> yes, I can. Oh my God, I can actually squeeze one in. I don't think I'll be able to do the same on the other side. No, like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of terraforming. So that shouldn't be an issue later on. Right, we gotta build up these bad boys right to the very top. Right, so all the foundations are now finished, as, as you can see. Holy crap, this thing looks incredible already. So basically, down here, all these corridors are not gonna be used. They're basically for decoration. They're meant to just hold everything together because I kind of don't like having just three towers sticking out of the water just randomly. So I decided let's put a little bit of foundations between all of them, hopefully make them look a little bit more believable and a little bit better. And one thing that I really want to do, oh, if only I could squeeze like a moon pool in the middle, that would have been fantastic. But unfortunately, we cannot do that, which is kind of a shame, but oh. We can do this instead. We can put a scanner room right in the middle, right here. Is that gonna look cool or should we bring it down by one? Uh, I mean, I kind of said how I don't want this to be accessible too much. Maybe the, uh, the final two floors are gonna be accessible? Hmm, this might work if I place it like that. 
So basically, you're going to have access to it from this level up. So th as you can see, that's why I used glass corridors here. So you can catch a better glimpse of the base as you're kind of walking around and everything. Just like that, we're going to add another window. Just as a little bit more decoration. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Because ideally, I'd want this thing to be completely symmetrical. Speaking of moon pools... Can I just like put them? Oh, the lag is a little bit intense right now. Can I put one there? Is that going to connect? Uh-oh. I'm not sure if that's going to connect. Hold on for just a moment. Ah, I see why that doesn't connect because this is the wrong piece. But if only we could rotate it. Why can you not rotate the moon pools? That doesn't make any sense to me. Look, I'm pressing buttons, but it's not working. Why, game? Why are you gotta be so rude? Uh, is that actually gonna look pretty cool? I'm not sure. Actually, uh, maybe? Maybe, maybe? I'm gonna save that for now, because I feel like that's just, like, finer detail that we're gonna work on later on. Right, let's build this up, first of all. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Oh, no, that's way too high. What is that? Oh, shit! We're gonna be right next to one of the escape pods as well. But that's gonna be annoying. If I, I'm pretty sure if I go into that room, the water is gonna go straight through it. Which is a little bit annoying, but there's very little we can do about that. Unless I just, like, you know, switch off the entire water. Which I'm not sure is the way forward, seeing how I've done that before, but by accident. It wasn't on purpose, and it was just a complete disaster. I saw it for a second. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, game. Oh, oh my god, it's working. Nice! This tower is now pretty high. I like it. So I think we're gonna add potentially two here. So I want the central tower to be higher than the other ones, because that would look pretty cool. And one thing that I gotta keep in mind, I don't want to overdo this base, simply because this is meant to be one of the just, like, standard side bases, you know? The main base is meant to be the one that's gonna kind of, like, take the cake. Oh my god. Holy shit, that already looks kind of cool, though. I like it. That scanner room, as cool as it looks, you know what? I think we're gonna place observatories here instead. Or maybe one observatory. And then we're gonna have potentially like one of these just uh, just sticking out. Why not? Maybe this is gonna be like crew quarters. So we're gonna break up the symmetry a little bit. Just to make it more interesting to look at, you know? I think that was a good idea. And can we place a glass? Of course we can. Beautiful. One thing that I def definitely want is a couple of skywalks and then put potentially this piece on here Just so we have like a little bit more variety and now the skywalk should connect like that There you go, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side Beautiful. How does that look? Uh, it doesn't look terrible. It's a bit long this gap right there, but I think we can work with that. One thing that I'm thinking about is actually adding these observatories at the very end on each side here. I think that will look pretty cool. So we go with the idea of having the skywalk. Plus, we're gonna have an amazing view of the Aurora from there. And first things first, I think we gotta go on the inside now. Just have a look how this thing is gonna look. Wait a minute, because I can't do windows from the inside, can I? Let's have a look. Yo, this looks pretty awesome already. But we need a nuclear reactor in here somewhere. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down by one. And maybe put the reactors there. Let's have a look. Just like that. Climb down and then we're gonna stick a nuclear reactor. So now we have a nuclear reactor. So does that mean these the space is gonna get powered? I mean, the, uh, the lights are still kind of off. Hello? Hey, uh, do we have to place, like, solar panels? There you go. I think the power just came on. It looks like everything just lit up. Nice. Okay. Yay! It's working. Look at that. <laughs> we got power in our base. Fantastic. I think the central tower right here is the tower that's gonna basically have all the ladders going up. So what I'm gonna do is just place them right against the wall here. Going all the way up. And let's see how this is going to look. Because I think one of these floors is going to be where the water is going to be glitching through. I think it could be the next one. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, I mean, it's 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 not terrible. But at the same time, I wish that wasn't there. I think what we're going to do with this floor is just put reinforcements. Now, this one, yes. Okay, this is what we're talking about. So this should definitely have an amazing view of the outside. So we're going to do panoramic windows going all the way around. We're going to have a view of the Aurora as well. This is actually kind of awesome. I'm not going to lie. I mean, just look at this. You come up and we're right next to the Aurora. Especially how you take these uh, 
These skywalks. Oh, man. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I think the scanner room is gonna look much better if we place it like that. I mean, that looks pretty good. Right off the bat, but I think... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This is not even symmetrical. There's one more tower on the right than there is on the left. We gotta fix that. Cause that just looks horrible. But I gotta say, I like the look of this base already. I think it's coming out pretty nicely. I've got a little cool idea for what we could do for the moon pools. We could place that technically at the back of the base, right here, right underwater, uh, right about there. That's right. And then what we do is we do the little splitter, which is gonna go in each direction. We're gonna add these two bad boys to each side. And then we're gonna place two moon pools. Oh, yes. All right, so one on that side that should connect nicely. There you go, so it doesn't look out of place. And one on this side. Hell yeah. Oh, no! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold your phone. Hold your phone. Hold your phone. Welcome aboard, Captain. That's gonna really annoy me. God damn you, game. I gotta deconstruct this. Place the moon pools. Maybe we just do it this way and then have them sticking out the front. Is that gonna look nice or is that gonna look really out of place? Okay, let's try this. Let's see how this is going to look. So we got one of them that's connected nicely. Obviously, we gotta get rid of this hatch, but I'm hoping that's not gonna be too much of a problem because, I mean, we can just move this over if we need to. And uh, the power in the base is gone again. Wait a minute. That's impossible that only one solar panel would be powering all of that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Come on, game. Yeah, that seems to be fine like that. Wait, we might be able to actually put two hatches on each side. There you go. So you go through the moon pool. I mean, you can swim underneath it, but it's just like a decorational piece right here. And also, I didn't know this, but apparently you can add windows to the moon pools. Fantastic. And I gotta do some solar panels because that, yeah, apparently we don't have any power anymore. I think that's actually looking pretty cool for one of the sub bases. Obviously, we still gotta do all the decoration on the inside, but as far as the build goes, I'm pretty sure we're finished over here. I'm just gonna take a final look on the inside just to make sure everything is nice and dandy. Look at this. We come outside. Look at that. Oh, I actually wanna see the scanner room because I think the scanner room is gonna be extremely sexy. Fantastic. Let's go into the scanner room. Is it possible to put windows inside the scanner room? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. God damn it. I was kind of hoping that's going to be doable, but apparently it's not. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for yet another episode of Subnautica. So let me know in the comments if you're okay with me using creative to build some of these bases, just to kind of like give you guys inspiration for what you could be doing yourself. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye.